the division property of equality says that for all real numbers a, b, and c, if a is equal to b, then when you divide the left side of the equation by c, you must also divide the right side of the equation by c. So let's solve an equation, 3x equals 15, using algebra tiles so we can visualize this. So we're going to start by using three of these positive x tiles. The nice thing about electronic algebra tiles is if you choose the tile itself, not the text, you can copy those tiles electronically by either right-clicking on the tile and choosing copy, typing control C to make a copy, control D to duplicate it, or by holding your control key down when you get a plus sign and dragging and dropping you will get a new tile. So let's make three copies of this tile. and then let's go get 15 of these one tiles for the opposite side of the equation. So there's one, two, three. And then if we hold our shift key down, we can select all three of them. And now holding the, the control key down, we'll get six, nine, 12, and 15 tiles. So if 3x equals a total of 15 tiles, that must mean that every single 1x has to be equal to 5 tiles. So x equals 5. For the second example, we're asked to solve 2x equals negative 3. So again, we need some of these positive x tiles. I need two total. And then I need three of the negative one tiles. So we'll grab one, two, and three. So this is where the problem lies with the algebra tiles themselves. 1x will be a little bit more than negative 1 tile, but a little less than 2. So if we think of a visual of a line going through the middle, we actually have one and a half tiles for each of the x's. So x equals one and a half, or x equals 1.5 or x equals 3 halves. All of them are the same, so you can write any of those answers and they are equivalent. Our third example is a bit more challenging. We are asked to solve negative 1 equals 2x plus 5. So we start with the negative 1 tile, and it's equivalent to 2 of the x tiles. plus 5 of the 1 tiles. So the first step is to try to isolate the variable. We see that we have these two x's over here. We can't do any division until we get those two x's by themselves. In order to remove these positive 5, 1 tiles, we need to get 0 pairs by adding 5, negative 1 tiles to this side. But our addition property of equality says that if I'm going to add 5 negative 1 tiles to the right side of the equation, I have to do the same thing to the left side of the equation. So I will hold my shift key down to grab all 5 of them, and then hold my control key down to make a copy of them all. 
So these zero pairs are going to go away nicely. And I will end up with two of the X tiles on the right hand side and a total of one, two, three, four, five, six of the other tiles. So let's bring one of these negative one tiles over so they're nicely lined up. And if two of these X tiles is equal to a total of six of the negative one tiles, we draw our imaginary line here to find out exactly how many one of these X tiles is equal to. And we find out that negative three equals X, or if you prefer to write it as X equals negative three, both are equivalent. For the last example, we're asked to solve x divided by 3 is equal to a negative 2. So we'll start with our positive x tile. But we have to split it into three equal parts. So I'll bring down a couple of lines that are going to help us visualize x being cut into three equal parts. Now we have to set that equal to a negative two one tiles. So if we want to not have X split into three equal parts, then we're going to have to make, to get a positive one X, we're going to have to triple the number of tiles on this side. So if we make an additional copy of these that eliminates one of the bar of the division bars and then if we make another copy of them that will eliminate the second one so now a positive 1x is equal to a total of a negative 6 so now that we've seen how this works using the tiles let's solve it algebraically if we have 3x equals 15, 3 is being multiplied by x. The opposite of multiplication is division. So if I want to get the x by itself, I need to divide the left side of the equation by 3. But the division property of equality says that if I divide the left side of the equation by 3, I also have to divide the right side of the equation by 3 and I'm left with a positive 1x equals a positive 5. Solving 2x equals a negative 3 algebraically means that since 2 is being taken times x, the opposite of multiplication is division. But if I divide the left-hand side by this positive 2, I need to divide the right hand side by a positive 2. So x becomes either a negative 3 halves or a negative 1.5 or a negative 1 and 1 half. Negative 1 equals 2x plus 5 says that we want to isolate our variable but we have a positive 5 added on to that 2x. So we have to take away the 5 from the right-hand side, but whatever we do to the right-hand side has to happen to the left-hand side as well to balance the equation out. So when I add these up, a total of a negative 6 will be equal to 2x plus 5 minus 5. There's our zero pair so we can ignore it and not write anything in that spot. Now we still want to get a positive 1x and 2 is being taken times it. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. But to be fair, if we're dividing the right-hand side by 2, we have to divide the left-hand side by 2. And a ne negative 6 divided by a positive 2 is a negative 3 and 2x divided by 2 is a simple 1x. So negative 3 equals x, or 
x equals negative 3. Finally, solving x over 3 equals negative 2 algebraically says we want to get the x all by itself to have a single 1x here, and it's currently being divided by 3. The opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by 3. But if I multiply the left-hand side by 3, I have to be fair to the right-hand side and multiply it by 3 as well. 3 divided by 3 is 1x, and a negative 2 times a positive 3 is 6.